Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna share with you some of the most useful apps in Spain. Mark this video and watch till the end. So the first app is for all the foodies. I like to dine out a lot with my friends and to try different restaurants. And one economic way to do this would be finding the restaurant on the app called The Fork. There are basically two ways to use this. The first way is just to search the restaurant that you wanna go to. So if they work with The Fork, then you might get some discount through this app. The second way to do this is just to search the type of food that you want. For example, Asiatico, we're gonna try Asian food and then it's gonna pop out um, a list of the restaurants with scores and with the percentage of discount that they have so the second app or apps are just Spanish equivalent of uber one is called Capify and the other one is called boat so for Capify the price is more or less the same as uber there's no big difference but it's always nice to have another option and so the second app is boat which is a more economic substitute of uber and moving on is an app called fever fever is an app for leisure activities like going to an exhibition going to a concert including going to the zoo so it's not like the fork it doesn't necessarily come with any discount but it's a nice way for us to discover what the city of madrid has to offer especially if you're more into cultural activities to get to know the city on a deeper level and, and to experience different things just to spice up your life a little bit and coming up we have an app called global i think they started from food delivery but recently i realized that you can also buy grocery and have them delivered to your place and one thing that i find the most useful is just to deliver things from you to maybe your friend's place or to your parents place or to wherever this thing needs to be delivered and the next two apps are for housing um so the first one is the most famous idealista this is where people find apartments or if you need a garage there's also another app called buddy so basically this is an app for you to find roommates if you want to share flat with people especially if you are student if you're a young professional and moving on to the next um, it's not an app, it's a service. If you have lived in Spain for a while, you probably already know this service. This is Bizum. So Bizum is basically a Spanish version of PayPal. It's super useful and super simple to use. You don't need to download any app that's called Bizum. So this service is basically linked with your bank account. So you can always see an option of Bizum there and you just like turn it on and that's it. So for Bizum, you can use it to shop online, which saves you the trouble of putting your bank information you can just put in your phone number that's linked with the Bizum and then you can finish the purchase online and it's super super useful when a couple of you guys go out and then one person pays for that and the other person can just Bizum the other person on the money um, so I think the last app that I want to introduce to you guys is an app that I recently discovered uh, it's called class pass so basically this app allows you to try classes of different studios or gyms without necessarily being a member of that studio so the first 14 days after you sign up for the app it's free for you to try classes from different studios and after that if you feel like continuing using this app you can actually buy credits and each time we want to have classes you'll just be using your credit but there's something that i definitely need to mention about this app if you want to explore things with your friend this app may not be the best option because my friend and i wanted to try this yoga class and we realized that even though that yoga class had a lot of spots open only one of us can sign up through this app to the class that we wanted to go once your friend gets in the spot is gone you cannot sign up through this app to the same class anymore you gotta probably pay for that one single class if that's an option but if you only want to try something by yourself then this app is perfect for you to try things without having to you know pay within the 14 days so anyway these are the apps that i can think of for now if you have any other recommendation of useful apps in spain leave a comment down below and, and share with all of us so i will see you in the next one bye